good game, any game plan is that you, you got to be sound. And what I mean sound is that you got to be in your gap and you got to make sure that you're the best player in that gap. And you got to make sure that uh, you're, you tackle really well and don't give up big plays. If we don't give up big plays and try to make anybody go 80, we'll, we'll be okay. And so the other part of that is the second point is you try to make guys one-dimensional, that helps. You can't throw, you can't pass. You, you know, one of those things that really helps you be successful. And so I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, our, our defense and um, trying to contain this great offense that we're playing. That's a big thing for us. We've been, uh, Coach Sewell has been uh, making sure we do a lot of ball security drills this week because um, a few weeks ago against Adams, they were really punching at the ball and a couple of times the ball came out. So he's really showed us that that's going to be a, an important factor this week. Ball security turnovers are huge. Those guys, like Coach said, are plus 12 turnover margin. So if the running backs can keep hold of the ball well and uh, high and tight the whole game and just uh, trust our blocks and upfield, then I think there's going to be a good outcome. So ball security is a big thing this weekend for us. Black Hills, uh, we, we enjoy this game coming up. They're more run dominant. So the more run dominant they are, the more interaction the steel linemen get in there. And it's dark times in there, it's a dark place to be. So when we get the ball coming to us up the middle for an end zone, we enjoy that a lot more. Uh, quarterback wise, he scrambles a little bit, but I feel like we've gone up against uh, different quarterbacks the same level. So really, again, if we keep progressing, the, the little things and keep working on it and enjoying it. It's going to be a quick game, fast game for the D-line, and again, we're going to try and try and beat that that running back as you mentioned. He's a, he's a bit of a stud. He's a hard runner like Michi up before, so if we just hit him low, take him out. If we stop that run game, I feel like our DBs have the rest and our backs have got, we've got, we've got to cover it after that. You know, it's tough to lose a guy like Bernard in the backfield. I mean, he's been great for us all year and in the past as well. It's as a whole, it's tough to just replace a guy like that, but me and the other backs as well know that we just need to step it up and just continue to work hard and practice and that we're the three guys that are going to take the lead now and um, that if we continue to work hard and uh, take care of our business, then it will be a great outcome for everybody. And Rex as well and uh, just knows that now that hopefully the passing game can open up and everything can get going as a whole. So I think it's... Uh, not as, I don't think it's a weight on our shoulders now, but just know that we need to continue to perform at the best of our ability and just continue to work hard overall. So. Well, I, mean, I think it's a chance, challenge for a whole offense. We've got to continue to do what we do, but we have to kind of do it in a different way. And uh, our, our guys are looking forward to the challenge of being able to uh, experience throwing the ball a little bit. Um, we're, we're going to try to open it up and, and then open the holes for our running backs that we have. Uh, before the two losses came around, uh, we had that game against Mesa, and when we came back from that, and how we took it as an individual unit, as a D-line, we, we took it as kind of like, all right, let's turn around and show everybody. We have to, we have to take pride in our ability, our skills, and our effort. Like We didn't train all spring, spring ball, and go through summer just to come out with a participation ribbon, you know? We don't want that. And so after Mesa game, we, we just turned around and said, let's just prove a point. The next week, they fall, and it's like, well, hey, if we keep proving our point, fingers crossed, good things happen at the end of it.